Buenos Aires is the capital and largest city of Argentina. It is located on the southeastern coast of the South American continent. Strongly influenced by European culture, Buenos Aires is sometimes referred to as the Paris of South America. You will see wide boulevards, beautiful architecture and neighborhoods that will give you this European ambience. When visiting the city, of course you start downtown. Start at one of the biggest avenues in the city, the Avenida de Nueve Julio. Its name honors Argentina's Independence Day on the 9th of July 1816. At this avenue you will find one of the best concert venues in the world, Teatro Colón. The theater's acoustics are considered to be so good as to place it in the top five performance venues in the world. You can get a one-hour tour through the theater, but best is to buy tickets for an opera or concert. Nearby the big avenue, you will find a lot of shopping streets in a pedestrian-only zone. If you walk the street Florida, you will end up at Plaza de Mayo. There you will have the Casa Rosada. The square also reminds of a black period in Argentinian history. The plaza, since 1977, is where the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo have congregated with signs and pictures of their children who were subject to forced disappearance by the Argentinian military in the Dirty War. But there are a lot more great neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. Palermo is one of the most populous areas and there are a lot of shopping and dining options. And of course, you have to go to a Parisian restaurant and try the gorgeous Argentinian tenderloin beef called Lomo. Shopping can also be done in the San Telmo neighborhood. Especially on Sundays, this is a great place to go for the antique and bric-a-brac market. It is also a place where you can see tango shows. Even a better place to hang out during the afternoon is La Boca. In this neighborhood with colorful houses, you can watch tango shows or other local dancing shows in almost every bar or restaurant. The neighborhoods are all quite far away from each other, so you'll need some transportation. An easy way to travel to all touristic highlights is a hop-on, hop-off bus. There is also a subway system, but the easiest way is to take a taxi. One of the things definitely not to miss is the Recoleta neighborhood, and especially the Cementerio de la Recoleta. At this cemetery, you have to visit the tomb of the Duarte family. This is the tomb where Eva Perón was buried. She was the second wife of President Juan Perón, and she was better known as Evita. And after you visited Buenos Aires, you'll have to move on to discover the rest of the country, all the way north to Iguazu Falls or all the way south to make a tour to Antarctica. But for a few days, especially during the weekends, there's plenty to do in the city itself.